Richard S. from the film and TV show here at Field of Force Day 2018 with organ grinder Simon Howard. Hello, Simon. I prefer organizer, but okay. It is it's written on the back of my T-shirt. It is say on the back, <laughs> organ grinder. Yes, yes. that was so. the, at the discretion of the printers. One of us was monkey and one of us was organ grinder. I wonder who got what. It kind of <laughs> depends on your view of it. I have a theory that I might actually be the monkey. And some Fair kind enough. of Stockholm syndrome has kicked in and I'm just stuck. Yeah, quite possibly. Who knows? So, it's been open for what, about... 45 minutes Is now. Yes, yeah, it's oh. 11.45-ish, oh, okay. well, I yeah, think. Sure. Yeah, and it is absolutely heaving. Just a little bit. Absolutely heaving. Um, I won't go through why you do it, because we did that on the podcast. That's what we did that <laughs> we for. We did do that, yeah. Um, yeah. What are your hopes for today, looking at it as it is? Can we get a shot of just that down there, just so that Welcome everyone to my can little see? Event. Because, it, yeah, not so little event. It's um, just phenomenal outside is even worse so we anticipate about 7,000 people visiting today um it's absolutely honking it down outside so whether we'll achieve that or not yeah. i'm not so sure it already looks to me like it's busier than last year so yeah. i guess we'll find out um but yeah it's um it's just it's just a bit mad epic. isn't it really it is a little bit mad absolutely and you've got some awesome guests i've spoken to spencer to clem martin did you get yourself a stepladder to talk to spencer I was he, just he makes like me look like Warwick Davis. I was just like that. I look, he's massive. Up, he's a huge guy. He's so lovely. Um, spoke to spoke to a couple. They're just everyone's so lovely. Yeah, they're and all lovely so guys. Friendly. Everyone's really pleasant and friendly. And have, the point of today, the whole point of our event is basically to come and have a nice time. Yeah. And that applies to everybody. So you guys doing the filming up here, all the volunteers having a nice time, all the uh, guests, all the people volunteering. Yeah, it's all about having a nice time. And your contribution to that is both equal and valid and crucial to us actually making this happen so and it's and it's fantastic i mean the, the facebook's just going mad at the minute you guys have videos. got access to that haven't you? i don't know what's I have, happening yeah so i've done a couple of hashtag <laughs> ftft18 going it's it, it's going okay it's going really so well my wife has been running the social media for us and um she said right you've been doing it wrong you need to do this 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 and this yeah she posted a picture of us sat in the pub just sat in the pub and got 127 likes yeah, yeah. How did that happen? That's Matt, the most popular picture we had for the last three months. It, it's, it's just how you how you yeah, market it and this. how you do there it. You so, but yeah, it's uh, it's going mad. We've I've done a couple of live videos and um, it's just yeah, it's just brilliant. It's it's absolutely amazing. And um, this is Alex's first time here. Did and not make it last year. Ah, yeah. that old chestnut. Did the dog eat your homework as well? <laughs> I, but, I know, right? I know. But it's his first, and, and he said, we, we were just downstairs with the Wookiees, and he just said, um, you can just see what it means to people, and that's the whole point, isn't it? Is yeah. So that everyone can be included, everyone can feel. So we've had, um, every year that we've done this, we've been invited to a funeral at some point between then and the next event. And the first funeral we went to was a little girl called Ava, who was two. She came to the first Field of Force Day, which was a tiny, tiny little event. 400 really. people Four, said well, on the screen, yeah. yeah. 400 throughout the day, but it was only, like, the room was like, barely as big as the seating area here, really. It was tiny. Um, and when we went to a funeral, pictures of Field of Force Day were on the screen. Field of Force Day was one of the best days of her life. So that's what it is. For some people, this will be one of the best days of their entire life. Yeah. And if we contribute to that, brilliant. And I love it. Yeah. And that's what it's all about, is giving people the best time. Yeah, it's and all it's for. This guy deserves to be honoured <laughs> by whoever. So whoever can do that needs to do it. Cause I have this a clear guy... criminal record, Your Majesty. <laughs> but Never in... evaded any tax. Well, I don't think I have, anyway. Well, you, well, you know what they're like for giving sure, stuff. Someone, to... someone in the sun will dig something up, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but this, this, this guy and JJ, they deserve it, because you guys are just utterly, utterly amazing. Oh, thank you. Absolutely I'm uncomfortable with compliments, but thank you. You're welcome. I'll let you go and get on because I Cheers. know that you need to go and do stuff. Right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. You too. See, See you later. later. Right. Hello, Richard from the Film and TV Show here at Feel the Force Day 2018. I'm with Spencer Wilding. Hi, Spencer. Hiya. How, How are you doing? doing? All right. Um, Hi, all world. Right. So, Spencer, tell everybody where they would know you from. Uh, well, I'm from Real. So if you're from Real, <laughs> you'll know me from Real. No, um, uh, I was in the sports world for many years. Uh, I was a professional kickboxer, a professional boxer, uh, and then I decided to follow another dream, or chase it, and I caught it, and that was from uh, 
and that is on the, the film world. So the first film I ever did was The Prisoner of Azkaban. I played the werewolf. And then 40 shows later, and now I'm playing Darth Vader. And other great characters. I've been very lucky. I mean, you've played probably the, one of the most iconic film characters ever in, uh, in Darth Vader. Yeah, I mean, feel, yeah. That is, he's an iconic, <laughs> iconic character. Yeah, he's a bit of a bad boy. He likes choking people out, using the force. How did you find doing that? Because that's obviously, you know, you've had so many great films that he's been in and so many great action sequences. How did you find donning the, the cape and the suit and the helmet? Yeah, it was awesome. It, you know, it, it was a long process to get there, you know. Uh, they're not just going to shove any tall guy in there. No, no. You know, it's, it, I've had to grow a good relationship with the, with the film industry for the past 10 years plus. Uh, and they know my capabilities. And me and Dan, two of us, play the part. Dan did the awesome scene at the end. I did the other scenes. Um, yeah, you know, there was an audition. Uh, we, we had to do a self-tape first up at my agency in Manchester, Morello. Um, and then we got another call back, another call back, and it was very secretive. We didn't know what the production was. We didn't know who the character was. Didn't know what the show was or anything like that. Uh, but later on, as we got nearer to their door, then they started opening up and let us know who it was. And then, you know, then we got the part, which was awesome. Excellent. And you've also been in Guardians. Guardians of the as Galaxy. well. The yeah. As the, the guy that still Star Lord's yeah. headphones. You know what? I go all over the world doing comic cons. I, get, I feel very blessed, and I get to meet all the fans and all the kids and the families. It's beautiful. I've just come back from Guatemala, so that says it all. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, the mean guard, it's, it's, he's a very interesting character. You know, when, it, when I first landed that role, uh, I went to the premiere with my mum, and I said to my mum, it's only a, you know, I didn't really read too good when we were yeah. days. So I didn't follow comics and things, comic books and stuff like that. And, and I said to my mum, I said, listen, it's only a, like a one-minute scene, you know. <laughs> I, I nick some guy's Walkman called Star Lord, and he takes it back off. And she goes, "Oh, don't worry, son. It's all right. You're in another film. You're doing great." I said, "Okay, cool." So when we sat down, that opening scene in Guardians of the Galaxy, there's the Walkman. I my brain's going. Da, 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 da. I said, "Yeah, but it's a great minute, Mum. It's gonna be, you know, just pick yourself <laughs> up." So anyway. but I go all over the world, and, and you know, as big as as big as Darth Vader is. People go, oh, yeah, Darth Vader. And then they go, oh, it's the mean god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, you know, these characters have got so much different power in their own little worlds. It's great. Well, what brings you here to Field of Force Day? Well, I got invited um, by uh, Simon, the, uh, the, the promoter, and he said, if, am I available? Uh, and I said, it's a bit of a touch and go with me because I'm filming at the moment doing stuff I can't talk about, it's all, but it's all good. And I said, listen, if I'm available... For sure, I'd love to come and experience feeling the force, especially with the disabilities that are going on here and that. And it's just it's lovely to meet everybody that can't get to me on other shows. Yeah. So it's great. Excellent. Good. Thank you very much, Spencer. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. No problem at all. Enjoy your day. Take care, kids. Take care. Hello, Richard S. from the Film and TV Show here at Feel the Force Day 2018. I'm with the massively talented Mark Silk. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm really, really well. Really well, thank you. What brings you to Feel the Force Day today? I've come the past three years, and it's such a great cause that it's it's one of the few comic cons that is set up with um, people who are disabled or special needs or visually hearing impaired. And it just means that if you can't see, if if you've only ever seen Star Wars, well, and you can't actually see, <laughs> if you, yeah. um, the idea that you could come up and actually meet Chewbacca and and touch you know Chewbacca and see what it actually feels like, get an idea of the size of it. Same with Wally and R two D two. Um, but it's it's a really great cause, and uh, I just have a great day. You meet a load of really lovely people that all like the same stuff. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. What can I tell you, buddy? It is. It absolutely is. And now, for me, M Mark was uh, the voice of my childhood Whoa. Uh, it, with Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo, man. Oh, mama. Yep, absolutely. That's right, Richie, baby. Yes. <laughs> See, Johnny Bravo. Man, was... Johnny Bravo hair right there. I want my hair back. <laughs> See, I'm just fanboying now. Just that's like. But you also do Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, well. where are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I grew up as a massive fan of Scooby-Doo. Uh, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. But, and because Scooby-Doo started in 1969, I wasn't alive in 1969. No. So, and and for me as a fan, I'm still a fan of this. Yeah. You know, people come here to meet uh, to meet people who are in TV shows and films. I'm still a fan of this, so I enjoy meeting these other people. Yeah, yeah. So, but we become friends. Anyway, I, I, before I was doing this professionally, I got to meet a guy called Don Messick, and he was the original voice of Scooby-Doo. Oh, and I, I know what that meant to me, yeah. to meet that guy. 
and it's lovely for me to sort of try and give that back to other people. I try and make sure people are looked after here. But Don Messi was such a, a talented guy. He was Scooby Doo. He was also in Yogi Bear. He was Boo Boo Bear. Gee, Yogi, don't tell Ranger Smith about the picnic basket. And he was Muttley, and he was loads of people. That's oh, cool. That's amazing. Who's your favourite character that you that you do? It's often it's often the one that you're working on right now. I mean, uh, there's a great show for CBBS called Go Jetters. My <laughs> kids love Go Jetters. They absolutely love Go Jetters. Your reaction there was awesome. Oh, no, sorry, but I, that's great. Every time I have my kids when they come round, we have Go Jetters on the TV. Well, I, I am, I am the naughty guy in Go Jetters called Grandmaster Glitch. <laughs> yep. I'll get you no Jetters. Quick to the Grimbler. Gribbles. I'm not bad. I'm just misunderstood. But yeah. he, he's awesome. So I. I Adore being part of that show. It's such a great show. But it's so fun and so fun. It, it's so different from like the Paw Patrol or Blazing the Monster yeah. Machines and and all of that sort of American. The, the music's like. incredible. There are these guys called Banks and Wag who do the music for Go Jetters. They're great. It's a really good cast. The animation is stunning. It, the writing is fantastic. It's they've got it all right. It's one of those rare shows where you're lucky enough to be part of something that's really magical. There's, but, it's so educational for kids as well. They learn so. My, my boys yeah. always pick up. They, they, my youngest picks up language from that yeah. more than anywhere else. Well, there's um, a show we did, uh, worked on called The Lingo Show. I'm the voice of Lingo. And it's a hop diddly do. The Lingo Show. You learn new words you'll want to know. <laughs> and, and again, that, that taught kids little bits of foreign languages. There's a great thing out at the moment, a new game by uh, Sega called, uh, called Two Point Hospital. And okay. it's, if you ever played a game called uh, Theme Hospital years ago, yeah, yeah. it's the natural successor to that. Okay. And it's huge. I mean, it, the quality of the thing is amazing, but it's so funny. And I'm the voice of a whole bunch of um, characters in that. Nice. It has a hospital radio station. <laughs> and so I'm the voice of the hospital radio. You're doing your best uh, it's Chaz and Dave or your best Smashy and Nicey. Well, you know, well, actually, we've got oh, this guy called Ricky Hawthorne, who's absolutely fantastic on Two Point Cody Hospital. Radio. Well, that's wonderful. Come and have a look. Get your get your get your etchers sorted out. It's, it's, he's a really great character. And then there's another guy on on the hospital radio station called Nigel Bickleworth, who finds disdain for everyone other than himself. You're all <laughs> wasting your time. Honestly, Hedwood Radio. Who do they think they are? That's brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Mark, thank you so much for your time. No, I it's, really it's appreciate nice to see you. it. Thank you, Mister. Thank you. Thank Take you care. Much. Love you. Mean it. Bye. Bye. Hello, Richard from, Fil from Field of Force Day, filming TV show, uh, Field of Force Day 2018. I'm with Holly Dempsey again. Hello. Hiya. Hello, mate. It's been a year since last time. Funny that, isn't it? <laughs> it's, been, it's been a long year. Yeah, yeah. And you've been quite busy. I've been, yeah, lots it's more been... harleting for, unfortunately not for this country, because it's not shown here yet, season two. And we've just got season three greenlit, so we're going to be busy again with some more of that. So Excellent. Yeah. Keep it nice and busy. Yeah. What brings you back again? Because you've been here a few times now, haven't you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did the first uh, for the Phil the Force Day, and I think I've done most since. It, I'll just always come to this one of all the conventions. It's so much fun. If I made no money at all for charity, I was just I'm stimulated all day long just looking at everyone. It's just such a great day out. It really yeah. is. And it's really busy today as well. There's yeah. so many people it here. Really is. And it's only like, it's only midday. It's usually not this busy at this stage. No, last year it wasn't, because I grabbed you about midday last year, yeah. and it was it was hardly busy. There wasn't yeah. many people around, and now yeah. it's just... It's amazing. Like, every year it's just getting bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger. It's Excellent. great. So what have you got coming up for yourself, then, in the next year or so? I've got a couple of bits in the pipeline. And like I said, season three of Harlots, I'm really excited. And that takes us about six months to film, so that takes up a big chunk of the year. Um, I'd love to do some more theatre, just lots of little bits in the pipeline, but I won't say until it's going to go somewhere. Have you done anything in theatre in the last year? Uh, not in the last year. I did start off in theatre, so I've been on stage before I did any screen stuff, and it's the best way to get, you know, to just fall on your face in front of people and be, be able to get yeah. back up again. It's an amazing training to give yourself. Good. And yeah. you've not come alone this year? No, we've got no. another harlot in our midst. Yes, you've Bronwyn. brought... Bronwyn. Yes, yeah. you've brought her, who's... Uh, he's just said while you were talking to, to someone that she's massively underprepared. Oh, bless her. <laughs> she's brought a couple of bits she's of She's got a couple uh, of postcards, and I'm next to her with all of my, everything I own on a table, <laughs> just selling it off. Because, and, you know, and you have been in a lot, though, haven't uh, you? Yeah, you started yeah. off in Tracy Beaker. Yeah, um, yeah. And I've got one of my friends is in Tracy Beaker now, oh, Warwick's brilliant. daughter. Oh, yes. Annabelle. She's brilliant. She's I've amazing. Yeah, she's as much brilliant. as we like to pretend that we've grown out of the show, it's such a good show that 
into adulthood, you can still watch it and enjoy it. Yeah. And Annabelle's great in it. She's really good. She's amazing. Yeah. Um, I was actually re-watching uh, Doctor Who the other day, and your episode come up, and I was like, ah. I was watching it with my boys, and I said, I know her. <laughs> I know her. What? I've met her. <laughs> and they were like, Daddy, you're just silly. Making up stories again, Dad. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> but it was, and because I love Matt Smith. I yeah. prefer Matt Smith, I think, to David Tennant, which a lot of people are like, <gasps> Yeah, but I'm with you. I'm, I know I'm biased. David Tennant's great, but definitely it's Matt Smith for me always. Yeah, and what do you yeah. think about the new one starting tomorrow? Oh, that is so exciting. Jodie Whittaker, what a, yeah, what a choice. I'm really excited to see that. And I've got a couple of friends as well, well, Tossin, who's joining the show, and it's very exciting to see a new generation of people yeah. coming through. And Yeah, and Doctor Who is all about regeneration, so I'm just excited for it to be a woman this time and see what she Excellent. does with it. I think it'll be great to have, you know, have the Doctor as a woman. I think it'll bring a lot more females to the show yeah perhaps. that's true and you know at the end of the day the doctor is a, a regenerating alien exactly i love you that know. he can he can travel through time he can change form but he cannot be a woman that was a funny yeah funny yeah thing. That was a, it, people are scared odd. of change sometimes but you know once it's happened and you've seen it, oh it's not that terrible it's actually really good so yeah i yeah. think it will be good i do like jodie whittaker i think yeah it'll be good. are you gonna show up again maybe in a doctor well, who i wouldn't say no but I'm not sure where my lacklustre shop assistant ever comes back in. But hey, she helped solve the crime of the episode. So she does, but you might, yeah. you might be a different part. You never know. Peter Capaldi ended up being the Doctor, true. so... Yeah, true, true, true. You never know. So I might be the next Doctor, is that you, what you're saying? You could well be. Sorry, Jode. <laughs> you could well be. <laughs> thank know. you so much, Oh, thank Charlie. you for having thank me, you. as always. Uh, have a lovely day. Enjoy your day. Yeah, I can't wait. Thank you. Get back Speak to you it. See you later. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Yeah, um, just get... Just, um, the thing that's in, well, I, I think the thing that they're all different. It's not that they are com common. Um, they've got a different approach. Some people are very hands-on and very approachable. Yeah. Um, some some will, uh, you know, give their direction through their first AD, or and that might filter down to second. There's a sort of hierarchy there. Um, but often, uh, some are really into just like spontaneity and. And like you to to um, do improv, yep. say, and they love that, and they love that you can get into character. Some don't. Some some say no, you need to do this and that, and we don't want you. So yeah, it depends. And uh, some are like over fussy. It may, you know, and they might do like twenty takes of the same scene. Some like to do it in, you know, yeah. in two takes. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Good. And what are you hoping to get from today? What do you What are you expecting today? Just if everybody that comes has a great time, I think that's enough. Excellent. Yeah. Good. Thank you so much for your time, yeah, Cam. I really welcome. appreciate. It. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hi guys, Richard S from the Film and TV Show with Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello. Hello. Nice to be here. Nice to be here. <laughs> We're at Field of Force Day 2018. Um, we've been here. Well, I've been here since 20 to 10. Someone else got <laughs> here at like. 20 to 11 when everyone was queuing up outside in the rain. That's when all the talent shows up. Yeah, right. And how <laughs> no. many interviews is it that you've done? Uh, I've not done any interviews. No, no, I know. Oh, you spoke to someone from Doctor Strange because they asked you for two five pound notes. Yes, yeah. That's as far as it's gone. But I've been the eyes and the ears of the show today. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. I've been having a look around and, like, yeah, for my first time, this is incredible. Yeah. And I'd, ra I'd rate this definitely above MCM London's uh, yeah. Comic Con any day. This is uh, just phenomenal, phenomenal. Mm. Um, we have done. We've been really busy actually in the last sort of hour and a half. Yeah. So we've yep. uh, we've had the great pleasure of interviewing uh, five amazing celebrities: uh, Holly Dempsey, Spencer yep. Wilding, Clem So, Martin Ballantyne, and Mark Silk, um, who I massively fanboyed over. But then yes, you did. He's Johnny Bravo. I'm sorry. He's, uh, I he's Johnny I Bravo. I saw like tears of joy at one Mate, point. Mate, honestly. It was, uh, um, and we've, all, we've also <laughs> spoken to Simon as well, the yeah. organizer. Um, and it's just phenomenal. It's e even now just seeing everything that's going on, the people, yeah. the, the the kids really just getting in is just amazing. It's just utterly fantastic. It's incredible to see like all the support uh, that people have come out, all the cosplayers that have dressed up today. Like yeah. some of them are incredible. Like truly, truly special. Yeah, um, uh, it's a little bit loud here now because we've yeah, got little school kids loud. singing, but. Uh, uh, hopefully we're coming through loud and clear <laughs> as all right. Matt, are we all right? Wow. Was it a bit loud? We we're all right. Fabulous. <laughs> so yeah, it's really loud here. There's lots going on. There's loads of people here. It's just, it's just fantastic. And I'm, I'm massively blessed 
to have been asked to come and do all of this for, for Simon and JJ to do yeah. their Facebook page. Make sure you find and you follow them on Facebook at Phil the Force Day because it's brilliant. Four quid to get in. Four quid. Yeah. What are you laughing at? Sorry, it's just that we are getting totally drowned out. We are out. getting well drowned out, but, but it's fine. But it's cool. Four quid. Four quid is a bargain Four any quid day of to the get week. in is just phenomenal. There's it a is... whole marketplace I've yet to even discover. Uh, I've not yep. even walked in there yet. I can't I wait know, to do it's, that. It, there's just so much here for everybody to do. You just, you, you can't, you can't understand what it feels like unless you're actually right here. And honestly, it's just phenomenal. It's and you can actually see uh, in a lot of people's faces, this is uh, the day of their lives, day of their year. Uh, this is making a lot of people's days. Uh, and it's awesome to see that sort of uh, happiness yeah. uh, brought to people. Yeah, I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, if you just zoom around just to show, I mean, this is just something that we've got going on at the minute. So this is like kids just doing dancing and stuff. It's just unreal, you know. It's amazing. You've got local kids doing the dancing. And look at everyone watching them. I mean, honestly, what what more can you get? It's just utterly fantastic. It really is. It's what this day is all about. Everyone's bringing their 100% today, and it, it yeah. really shows. Oh, absolutely. Everyone is bringing their 100%. It's <laughs> it's just a brilliant day. It, and now I, I feel like a sports announcer. <laughs> yes. Everyone's bringing 100% Yes, they bring their today. 100%. Uh, they gave out 110%. Yeah, see, I'm no Mark Silk. I can't do their voices. No, absolutely not. Did they just not. score a goal? <laughs> no, I don't know. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. We've just but been, yeah. like, bombed. Photo bombed. Video bombed. Video bombed, yeah. Yeah, video Interview bombed. Interview bombed. That's all right. It's fine. it's fine. So, yeah, so we are still going to be here for the rest of the day. We are still going to be doing live videos. We're going to be doing some other bits as well yep. for, for Field of Force Day. But, um, but yeah. Next year, 2019, get tickets. Buy tickets at Field of Force Day on Facebook, at Field of Force Day on uh, Twitter, and fieldofforceday.com. Get uh, tickets. Go and come down. Four quid. It's four <coughs> pound. Honestly, it'll be the best four pound you've ever spent. Yeah. The atmosphere is like... I've never really been to a Comic-Con and felt this, so... Yeah, I mean, yeah. the atmosphere here is just... It, it's electric in such a great, positive way. Electrifying. It's electrifying. <laughs> It is absolutely brilliant. Honestly, it's it's just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So, mm. yeah. Tickets for next year's Feel the Force Get Day. Them. Get them. Do them. Uh, and also subscribe on iTunes as well and find us at filmandtvshow.podiant.co. Right. We're going to go and enjoy the rest of our day. Take we'll see you later, easy. guys. Take care. Bye.